Hey guys, I want to give a heads up before we start this episode. This is our new weekly breakdown slash review of the Halo TV series. So we will be spoiling heavily. So if you have not started Halo, I would recommend turning this off immediately. We're doing episode one right now, but this will be at the beginning of every episode. So obviously, as the episodes go on, just pay attention to which episode it is. And if you haven't watched that, then I would recommend turning this off because we'll be breaking down each episode and reviewing it and also speaking about the Halo games. So if you are wanting to play the Halo stories or the Halo campaign and care about the stories, I would recommend not watching or listening to these either. So without further ado, we'll get into the episode here. Welcome to the Current Backlogs. I'm your host, Casey P, along with my good friend and co-host, Aaron C. We're here for another review of the Halo TV series, Episode 6, Soulless. Soulless. That's right. It's um, quite the episode. <laughs> is there anything you want to talk about before we get into it? Yeah, I just wanted to say uh, happy Star Wars Day to everybody and uh, share a favorite Star Wars character. If you want to go first, and I'll go Me? second. Oh, man. Is this just our top favorite overall? Yeah, let's just go favorite overall because oh. we could definitely, we could do a top five, top ten list if we wanted to. I'm going to say Darth Maul. Darth Maul? Yeah, yeah, as short-lived as he is, he's just so badass and I have so many memories from him being a kid and having a dual lightsaber and I dressed up as him for Halloween. and so, yeah. Oh, I did too. When I was like really small, I had his, I had his double-bladed lightsaber. Um, have you watched any of it? Because they really have fleshed out his character in like Clone Wars. Yeah, and I've seen a little bit in Rebels. Like they really make his character like top in Star Wars. Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah, it's cool. I just I like live action more for Star Wars, and I think um, Ray Park just fucking nailed it. So I'm yeah. sad that it's so short lived. But no, it's still as cool seeing him anyway. Yeah, because he has one of the like smallest screen times mm -hmm. in Star Wars, but he's just so amazing. Yeah. Like everyone wanted to be Darth Maul. But uh my favorite, um could like go in a it's Anakin slash Vader. I know a lot of people like it's like either Anakin or Vader, but I just like both of them. Um really Clone Wars really fleshes out Anakin and makes him even better. I mean, in the prequels, he can be whiny and kind of annoying, and a lot of people criticize that, but I thought in Episode 3, which is my favorite Star Wars movie, um, that Hayden did a decent job with what he was given, and they showed the fall pretty well into Vader, and then I just love Vader in the entire original trilogy, especially in Empire Strikes Back. Yeah. Um, that's what my second favorite is Empire Strikes Back, but Anakin and Vader slash okay. Vader, I guess. Yeah. I mean, you can't go wrong there, but yeah, obviously we could go a whole list and talk about Star Wars a lot, but this is a Halo episode. So that is, should we get into it then? Yeah. Let's get into, uh, episode six. <laughs> it starts with, uh, John and more flashbacks and no helmet on. And then. It cuts to Kai being uh, uh, being worked on from her injuries from the previous episode. And I just want to note during the flashback, he's just sitting in like a dark room, yeah, and staring at Halsey like very menacingly. Like <laughs> he's mad, yeah. And I just I was like, oh gosh, here we go. Um, but yeah, then Kai. Just on the medical bed screaming. Um, guessing she's just in. I mean, she got shot a lot in the last episode. Yeah. So yeah, there's blood everywhere, like on her. And uh, they like inject her with, I'm assuming, as a drug to make yeah. her like fall asleep. Yeah, sedate her or something. But yeah, they. It was like somebody's never been a doctor before. They just like stab her like 15 times. Yeah. And then why are all the Spartans around her? Yeah, I don't know. Why is there not a doctor helping her? Why is John sitting there like, you can do this, Kai? Like, uh, 
Yeah, I don't know. I think a couple of them are holding her, holding her down, which I guess makes sense because she's so strong that no doctor could stop her. Oh, yeah, right. You don't need all of them in there. So Yeah, all three of them are just in there. And don't they have their armor on too? Mm -hmm. No helmets. They're just holding her down and yeah. she's getting injected. And then she kind of falls asleep. Yeah. Next thing I had, I told you before the show, I have not a lot of notes, so feel free to add as much as you want to flesh it out some. But then we see the blessed one on... Uh, the bed, uh, medical bed as well, and she seems unconscious. Well, I don't know, like passed out, but still talking. And she's talking in Sun Healy to, um, and Miranda's there trying to. She has like some device over her face to try and translate what she's saying and capture what she's saying. Uh, let me see, because I have quite. A, I actually have quite a bit of notes. I'll go for it. Um, after the Kai thing, I just Cortana is telling Chief that he needs medical attention. And he is completely ignoring it. Like, he just doesn't care. He's basically, leave me alone. Like, and I'm just like, dude, you're obviously not okay. Because you can, like, see he'll, like, shut his eyes and it seems like he's about to pass out. And yeah. It's like, what What are you doing? He's just, like, completely ignoring it. Um, trying to... I kind of went scene by scene. I just put a note for pretty much oh, every you're scene. Good. Um, but then after that, uh, Chief kind of blames himself. He's talking to Captain Keys, and he's just saying that he blames himself for losing the artifact. But Keys is like, "Oh, you saved like a hundred and hundred plus yeah. UNSC soldiers by doing what you did." And uh, Keys is like, "Oh, I have faith in you. Like you're gonna, you'll find the artifact again. You found it once." Yeah. Um. Then there's this other scene where. A bunch of UNSC soldiers are kind of just carrying in the injured troops, I'm assuming, and the blessed one is carried in on a little bed. But yeah. I think before that there was the, the blessed one scene that you mentioned, because I don't think they're back on reach yet. Or maybe I, they are, but... Yeah, I couldn't even... I didn't put locations in this one, because I didn't know... They didn't make it clear where they were, so I don't know. Yeah, I, I assume the beginning of the episode is still on Aridness, based on the scene where we see them like they're like all walking and they're like carrying yeah uh injured and um i'm assuming it's injured or dead because i saw some bags with just they're completely covered so it's dead slash injured i mm -hmm. think and the blessed one is one of them um so then i had that not not a lot there i mean it's just they're recovering from that no, battle yeah, I gotcha. and then uh Next, uh, and let me know if you have this, Chief goes to the lab where Halsey is, or Halsey's lab, and uh, then just starts locking Halsey inside of her lab. Yeah, I had um, something before that's not major, but uh, I, just thought it, <laughs> I just thought it was funny. Um, Captain Keys asked if Chief's all right, and... He's asked if he has had a system check lately, and Chief responds, no, I'm fine. And then Cortana cuts in and says, I've run a systems check, and that's absolutely not true. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, <laughs> then, part, that part was really funny. Yeah. Um, and then Chief has more flashbacks, and then that's when he freaks out and knows that he needs to lock Halsey in the room, if you want to take it from there. Yeah, and uh, he starts going off... Like, to Cortana, pretty much. I didn't put what he was talking about, but yeah. it's not really important. He's basically just explaining what he's about to do. And, uh, yeah, so he locks her in the room, and he starts, like, a process to release radiation on Dr. Halsey. Uh -huh. And I was like, whoa, dude, you need to chill out here. Like, he's going, he's going a little, he's going psycho. Yeah. Didn't talk to her at all before he did this. She's just chilling in her lab. He He rolls up, and he's like... All right, I'm done with this. Locks her in, and then he starts the radiation thing. And then uh, Cortana's like, you're tired. Like, you're overloaded. You're not thinking clearly. Doesn't say anything. He just completely ignores yeah. it. Again, he's like, fuck Cortana. I hate you, pretty much. In his head, he didn't say that. But his actions yeah. say otherwise. And uh, then he tells Cortana, he's like, make me open the door. And uh, 
for Hannah's like, I can't. Like, I'm not able to do that. I can't control you. And then he basically is like, I don't believe you. Um, make me open the door. And then yeah. she explains, like, she can only affect, like, his neural pet. Like, she can't control him. She can shut him down like she did in the last episode. Excuse me. Um, she can shut him down like uh, she did in the last episode, but she can't take him over, which interesting. I don't... Can she take him? I, I feel like they said that she can, though. Yeah, I don't remember if they said that or not. I feel like even if they could, though, that would be her line to try and hide it for when she needs to take him over or when Halsey wants her to take him over. Yeah, because uh, when we're first introduced to Cortana, I'm pretty sure she's like, I'm not in control. Like, she says that to yeah. Halsey, and Halsey's like, well, you're not going to be, pretty much. So I think her design is to control Master Chief, which is weird, but she can't, and uh, John is out of control right now. But, uh, let me see... So then the radiation is about, like, there's, like, a countdown. And John, like, opens the door right before Halsey gets radiated. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, then John's like, don't get comfortable. He won't save her from what's coming next. And I was like, oh, shoot. <laughs> so I don't know how you felt about that, but. It was odd. It was weird. Yeah. yeah. I was like, okay. Like, first of all, in the last episode, he clearly attacks her. Like, he's trying to attack her in the last episode. Was that just not addressed? Like, did Halsey just like, oh, that was just a one-time thing. He'll never do that again. Yeah. And the big battle just kind of overshadowed that because it happened right before that. I think that's probably what they would say, the writers, if they were given an excuse that it was so intense and there was so much going on that was minuscule compared to everything else. Because obviously John is still thinking about it. Yeah. Uh -huh. But Halsey kind of seems surprised that she's uh, getting locked in this room yeah. and about to get killed pretty much. And then even after, like she just gets out of the room and she's like, oh, I almost died, but we're still friends. Uh -huh. I was like, what? Like, who does that? Like, why are you not calling security and restraining him? Why are you just letting him roam free? Because he could definitely just pick up a gun and shoot you. Or do his anime jump punch. Yeah, or that. Like, I'm going to get Cortana's, but if he pulls a trigger, like, yeah, she's gone. So I thought that was really weird. No, I agree. But uh, the credits roll after that. Not the credits, the, the uh, intro. The intro. Um, one thing I missed from the beginning. Credits roll, that would be funny. <laughs> um. When I said John was having his flashbacks, he has his helmet off. I don't know if I said that or not, but uh, it's important if you pay attention to the, how little we talk about that in this episode. Um, yeah. <laughs> so then it comes back to um, the UNSC doing work on the blessed one. They're doing work on her already. Oh, yeah. Um, and We'd like to do work on her. Oh! Um, <laughs> is there uh, more you have? I have more, obviously, than just that, but... Um, let's see, they just, yeah, they just jump to the blessed one, and uh, basically, they're just talking about how she told them that she lived amongst the Covenant, and yeah. uh, she offered to give them info, but she will only talk to Master yeah, that's Chief. that's the next thing I had, that she only talked to him. Um, and then, next thing I had was... Uh, I think this is I could put a better note. It said Hood takes control of the Spartans. Is it when Parangoski is talking to Yeah, it's like uh Parangoski, Halsey, yeah. uh Captain Keys, they're just kinda all meeting. Uh, or maybe no, I might be skipping something. I think it's Parangoski and um crap. I just have, for that scene, they're, like, expressing their doubts in Master Chief. Yeah. Pretty and, much, uh, like... Um, how important this Hood figure is that we've seen once. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they talk about Hood quite a bit, but yeah. there's not there's not a lot there. A lot of the scenes in this episode are just dialogue that's, like, okay. Yeah, that's why this is the smallest notes I have yet, and some I didn't even know really what to put like that one. I was like, I don't, can't explain the entire scene, or, like, line by line. Yeah, there's just so much dialogue, and it was like, okay, how do I even 
do the notes. Yeah. You kind of have to like break it down and I just kind of listed stuff. Yeah. You know? But this episode is just really really weird. It's probably the weirdest episode in the show. I don't, I don't know if it was like pacing or mm-hmm. we can talk about it at the end. Yeah. Compared to the last episode, it was definitely a drop off. Oh yeah. Next thing I have was that uh, Chief gets back in his black Mass Effect suit that I didn't think we'd see again. I gotta be honest. I was like, oh <laughs> shit. Yeah, I I noted that too. I was like, oh here we go again. Yeah. And uh, he's going to see the blessed one. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Goes talk to her and. Um, she tells Chief that he's like her and um, tells her that uh, or she tells him the Covenant call her the blessed one. Yeah, and when they first introduce each other, this was so funny. He just, he talks to her if she's comfortable, blah, blah, blah. Like just casual conversation. But then he's like, I'm John. And he says it's so sexually. Uh, oh yeah. Uh-huh. Like I was like, "What the heck?" Like it was like, like you could hear the sexual tension mm-hmm. in his voice. Like he was like, "I'm John," speaking for the audience. Yeah. No. <laughs> um, and then. And she calls him the demon, that's and then right. he's like, "I've been called worse." She's like, "Oh yeah, I'll call you the demon." It doesn't sound as cool coming from her as it does the grunts. Yeah, it's so much better when the grunts do it. It's so funny. So as soon as she says a blessed one, he gets uh, all the flashbacks to the crazy man being like, you're the blessed one. And I was like, oh, hey, what, shit. Was that? what was that guy's name? Uh, oh, God. Rev? Reeve? Something like that? I had it too from, I did the closed caption figure out last time. I can't <laughs> yeah. remember now. It's, it's something with an R. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he gets, he gets the nice flashbacks. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and then I just had something before that. John's just like uh, saying that he, why should he trust uh, McKee, Bless, the blessed yeah, one? McKee. But uh, he's like, why should I bless you? Like the covenant have slaughtered hundreds, and then you just drop in right after. <laughs> yeah. So like, I thought that made sense. Like, why would you trust her? That's really random that she yeah. just dropped in after that. Do you have um, anything before the chief left the room? Uh, no, I just had, he had the flashbacks and all okay. the crazy stuff that happened on Rubble. Yeah, gotcha. Um, so then it cuts to a scene of uh, some of oh, the Oh, also I did, I had something else. Uh, the Blessed One actually tells him a planet of where they took the Keystone. Oh, that's right, yeah. Um, which is kind of important. So uh, they actually start searching for it, because I'm assuming Chief tells Captain Keys, which we don't need to see, but... I'm assuming that's what happened because he's like going crazy and telling people like, "Oh, we yeah. need to find this and stuff like that." Yeah. Um, then it cuts to a scene of somebody from the UNSC like interrogating Halsey and um, asking her questions, and then you see Perengoski and Captain Kizak really standing in the corner, and then it cuts to them sitting in these chairs and they're like brain wired into it and they're holograms, I guess, and Halsey doesn't know they're there. Yeah, so this was weird. Yeah. I was like, so they're there, but they're not there. But when you look at the scene, it's like they're all there. Uh And it's so confusing. I was just like, what the heck? Yeah, no, I thought it was odd. I get what they did, but it's still... The way it was done was not good. Yeah. Yeah. Because it was, it was, we were just jumped into the scene, and then there, like, I feel like a scene before this, like, talking about, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna listen in on this, mm-hmm. and like show, like, maybe explain the machine for a second, because we have no, like, we understand what it's doing, but after we're seeing it, so it was really confusing. No, I agree. Yeah, it's like a Assassin's Creed style machine where they went into, into the different reality, but they weren't really there. So yeah, it's weird. Um, and then Chief walks in in the middle of this, and then... Yeah, he just barges in. Yeah. No chill again. He's just unhinged. He's going crazy. So then they, uh, Perengoski and Key start arguing about how they shouldn't be there, and the other one says they should, and then they stay there. And then it's like a sitcom. Miranda's hologram pops up, and the, Miranda, what are you doing here? And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, what are you, any of you doing here? What is going on? Yeah, that's my exact <laughs> thoughts on that. I was just so confused. Like they're just they're just listening in the conversation. Yeah. And then so Halsey begins explaining herself to Chief 
which obviously Chief just tried to murder her, and she's just again casually just like, oh, whatever, like, what's up, best friend? Um, and she explains, like, she created the Spartans to protect humanity. Um, she explains that she needed children that were no older than six. Kind of creepy, but, but, uh, the book that I'm reading is exactly the same, which yeah, is really cool. I remember that. Um, and she, replace the kids with uh flash clones and uh basically they would die a certain time after mm-hmm. and they just all have the same diagnosis that was explainable and then the parents could just mourn them but uh obviously John is really mad about this uh even though he can't really remember his parents obviously so I'm not really sure like I get he was lied to but he I feel like he's slightly overreacting just yeah. a little bit I don't know how you feel but yeah, I can see both sides. I think I don't think he's overreacting because I feel like I'd feel the same way, but I feel like maybe the way they're portraying him and how emo and over the top he is makes it seem worse. I think what he's saying is reasonable. It's just how they're doing it seems a little over the top. Yeah, I feel like he could handle the situation a little bit better. Like, you just tried to murder her, dude. <laughs> Like, now he's getting an explanation, but wouldn't you want the explanation first and then decide what to do with it? Yeah. He just went straight to, oh, she's dead, pretty much. And yeah. I thought that was kind of kind of dumb. Yeah, so then she was explaining it, and he said that uh, he was finished with her. He didn't want anything to do with her anymore. Oh, this is, this is the exact line. Oh, he okay. was like, I'll finish. And there's a pause. And at first I said, nice. I think we all did yeah. at the watch party. We were like, oh, yeah, I'll finish. And then so there's like a little pause, and then he's like, without you. And I was like, why did he deliver it like that? <laughs> there's a lot of that in the show. Yeah, I was just like, what? It was so funny, though. Yeah. It's just like, I'll finish without you. <laughs> so the next thing I had, I think this is the uh, video conference thing I was thinking of. Um Perengoski tells Halsey that she's no longer part of the team and that she will have her own station. I don't, I feel this is another, I don't know what they called it. Oh, uh, there's a little scene after. It's not big, but Miranda basically talks to Chief and uh, Chief basically tells her, uh, the blessed one told him that she can interact with the artifact also. Oh, yeah. And he's like, you need to check on that. And she's like, right away. But she's like apologizing at first for what Halsey did, which I thought was interesting. No, so she... later in this episode when that becomes more relevant, I realized the show put that in the notes, but I can't remember where that landed, so I didn't want to add it just randomly. Yeah. So yeah, I meant to have that in here. So yeah, that was an important scene, and that was after the Halsey uh, conversation with her explaining everything. Yeah. So then it goes to the video conference with Perengoski and telling Halsey that she's on her own now and she's not part of the, the team. And that she would be stationed somewhere else. I feel like, did they say the name? I know they said the name. Do you have it? Uh, oh, the planet name? No, I didn't put it in. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought they said it's a planet, but as we talk about later, it seems like people get there pretty easily. So, I don't know if this planet's just like on the side of where they're at or what. Yeah. Or it just seems like another bedroom. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, you mean like later in the episode when she's in yeah. the room? Uh, I, she's not at the planet yet. Oh, okay. That's they okay. actually... Uh, they tell her, I actually have it here. Um, let's see. So they basically tell her she's going to get her own lab on the other planet. But uh, the Spartans are handed over to Miranda. Yeah. And all her clearances and stuff are taken away, and she will have no contact contact with Cortana or her lab. And that she's going to be like locked in this room until they move oh, her. Okay. So That's, she's not at the planet yet? Yeah, I thought I had to be missing something, so if this is another planet, it's real convenient for everyone. Yeah, no, so she's still on reach, I just gotcha. isolated, basically, is what I got from it. Yeah. Um, next thing I had was cutting to the blessed one. Do you have anything before that? Um. Yeah, was it with Miranda and the blessed one? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I have. Yeah, cutting's a fitting word because it shows the back of her, and she has a ton of scars. Yeah. I was hoping we'd get a camera whip around, but unfortunately... We did not. Yeah, too late. She puts it on, and then she talks to Miranda about uh, the covenant, or um, Miranda talks to the blessed one about a covenant 
attack on their ship and um, a transmission they heard, which I think that's episode three. It's two? episode three. Okay. And obviously we know that it's the blessed one that did that, but Miranda doesn't. But I think that's the... Uh, the blessed one doesn't seem to react to that. If that was me, I'd be like, oh, fuck. Cause they're You're like, damn, because that's her voice. Yeah, she the, said uh, we're going to have the transmission figured out soon. And yeah, she's sitting there. So yeah, that's why I was like, oh. And then Keys is like, can you verify a translation? <laughs> and it's like, uh, well, she's the person talking. Uh-huh. So this is going to be awkward. Yeah. Um. So next thing I had, if you didn't have anything, they throw her a new set of clothes, the blessed one. Um. Unfortunately, oh, I have some stuff. I'll go for it. But uh, basically, after that scene, John runs a medical diagnostic on himself and finds out that everything Cortana said is true, and he definitely needs medical attention. But again, he just ignores it. But then he sees Quan Ha. Oh yeah, just kind of standing there. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, of course they have her in the episode. We haven't seen her in this episode. Yeah, the entire time, and she's just there. Um. But then we go to that room with Aiden and Halsey. They're locked in there together, which sucks for Halsey. Aiden's creepy as, mm-hmm. you know, he's just doing his creepy thing. Imagine when he figures out the blessed ones there. He's going, like, what? He's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm leaving Halsey now. <laughs> but uh, basically, Aiden just tells Halsey that Cortana has been, like, blacked boxed, which I'm assuming it's just she's separate. Like, Halsey can't contact her. And then. Mm-hmm. Halsey just expresses her concerns because, obviously, John doesn't give a crap about Cortana. So, yeah. uh, Cortana has nobody to, like, talk to. Um, and then just goes to the Spartans and Vanek and Riz. Uh, they're, like, in a weapons room. And uh, they tell Kai that Keys has taken over for Halsey. And we get to see that nice pineapple grenade. Um, it wasn't a pineapple, but we did, like, holding the grenade. No, yeah. Um, for that, just one thing. That is where they uh, give her a change of clothes, the blessed one. Oh, okay. Before that, you know, you're good. And then uh, I was like, here we go, part two of this, but they don't show it. And then extra big bummer, they give her leggings, and somehow they never show that off either. That was a sad day because the leggings are the best. Um, so very important part that we had to get in there. But um, then there's also one thing that actually I guess is supposed to be important. But um, the blessed one sees the Master Chief in the corner of the room. And he's just dressed in his Mass Effect outfit. But then she randomly sees his hand turning into the Spartan hand. And then he sees it and he starts like freaking out. Yeah, I noticed that. I was Doesn't. like, what? Yeah, I don't... He's just kind of twitching. Like, Master Chief is tweaking the whole episode. Yeah. Like, he's just shaking, and he's acting weird. Like, mm-hmm. he obviously... Like, Cortana said, you need medical attention, and he's just like, ah, oh, fuck medical attention. Mm-hmm. And just doesn't... Like, clearly, you're shaking, you're having hallucinations. Like, dude, come on. <laughs> yeah. You tried to murder Halsey? <laughs> like, come on, dude. How many more signs do you need? And then the only other thing I had... Um, before the part you're talking about is we see Halsey in her new space. Not much happens, but you see it. And then it cuts to part you're talking about with the, all the weapon room. There was a, uh, before the grenade, there is a hologram of the Spartan laser on the table. Oh, yeah, yeah. That which, was cool. Uh, I, that's a weapon I even think about, but I hope they bring in the show because that'd be fucking awesome. Especially in the game, it kind of just knocks people, like, it's dramatic, but it kills people. But in this, who knows if it's going to be like, exploding and blood oh, everywhere. Yeah. They actually say how many shots it gets to. Yeah. That, like, they say something about 20%, and then she's like, oh, that's good for, like, five shots yeah. or something like that, and I thought that was cool. I just like seeing all the weapons. Oh, yeah, me too. It's awesome. Yeah, and then I definitely thought about the pineapple, too. I was like, man, this would... We brought it up last episode, and this would be a, a real stupid Easter egg. Catch one of these, and literally just... A pineapple would have been a bit much, but like a real yeah. oversized grenade and they just didn't address it. I think that would have been really funny. Yeah. I just thought of the pineapple oh, grenade immediately. I was like, ah, oh, the pineapple grenade. Um, Next thing I had was Miranda going into um, her office for the first time. Well, Halsey's old yeah. one. Halsey's mm-hmm. lab. And she's like fascinated by it. She's like, yeah. oh my gosh, I'm in Halsey's lab. Um. 
not a really big scene, but uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Then we see a message on the screen that says "See me," and then, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's like, she said something about how she's dramatic or something. Miranda does, and then it cuts to her in uh, Halsey's new space. And that's where I was like, wait a second, is this a different planet? Because you got here immediately. Yeah. That makes sense now. Um, And then they have a whole conversation. And then once Miranda leaves, you see Halsey take out a contact lens and she's recording all of it. Yeah. And that was kind of like the contact lens in the new Batman movie. Yeah. (laughs) That's what I thought of immediately. Mm -hmm. I was like, ah, nice. Yeah. Um, I don't know if this is in Halsey's office. I should have put a note. But they look at the DNA of the blessed one and John and see that they're synced up and have the same DNA. Yeah, and the statistic is two in a billion. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, which would, I think, imply that they're related. But uh, as we'll talk about the end of this episode, that makes something really weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and like I said, I've worried either way if they are related or a couple, and I feel like both those are hinted at, and I don't like either of them. Yeah, they're hinted at, and it's, uh, I don't know how to feel about it. It's really weird. Yeah. Um, next thing I had was that Cortina finds a way to get into Halsey's office on a hologram, given him before that. Uh, yeah. Uh, there's just, John is back with the blessed one, and, uh, He's basically just throwing a temper tantrum about uh, how the system that the Blessed One talked about just doesn't exist. But at first she's like, oh, the weapon's not there? And he's like, no, none of it's there. And he's just all, he's just all mad. And uh, then he has this, like, he just, like, punches the wall and then collapses. Yeah. And then uh, the Blessed One talks about how the Keystone is uh, killing him. And she tells him that the Covenant had other stones and she would try to fight it like he's doing. And yeah. But she learned to control them. And then I have it going back to Cortana. Okay. Yeah, so she finds a way to get into Halsey's office through hologram and talks to her. And um, I think that's all I had there. Did you have anything? Yeah, that's pretty much all it is, is Cortana talks to Halsey, and then Halsey just asks where John is because she's worried about the artifact thing, like just them doing tests without her, and she's worried about John. Yeah. Um, Next I have uh, Master Chief is going to the Artifact room to test the artifact With uh, Miranda Yep that's what I had And uh, he touches the artifact And uh, during the scene Also like they're kind of going on at the same time The blessed one they bring her food But she's like really pressed to talk to Master Chief Because I think she realizes What he's about to do Yeah, As far as he's going to touch the artifact And uh she uh, whips out her little uh, energy nail. Energy <laughs> nail. But then John touches the artifact at the same time. And she kind of has a seizure and looks like she's having an orgasm. And John has more flashbacks. Do you have any, anything um, else besides that? I think her pulling out the ridiculous energy nail, as we'll call it, because it's a energy sword, but for her nail. Yeah. Um, I'm curious to what they do with that, because the person that she was about to stab definitely saw that. Yeah. So I don't know. If you would assume that you would immediately leave the room, lock it, and be like, she's not who we thought. Right, like she's covenant. Like, yeah. We need to dip. It's a show, so probably the next episode, the person will probably be like, are you all right? And then she'll like, Chum, oh, stab her in the head or something <laughs> stupid. Because either the, the cover's blown, everybody knows who it is now, or something like that's going to happen and it's kind of going to be going to be kind of silly. You also would think they have cameras loaded in this place and that does happen, but that would probably be a convenient miss as well. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, they clearly have some kind of connection with what they've been implying because as soon as it happens, they both start freaking out. Like you said, you get both angles of it, which uh, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> yeah, it was a little weird. And just their interactions the whole episode were weird. Yeah. Um, and the weirdest one is next. Um, I had next when Chief's having flashbacks right after that. They show a table full of like 
to form mutilated babies and kids. Um, I yeah. I think that's supposed to be the the baby Spartans, I'm assuming. Oh, I, I thought it was the clones or the Flash yeah, clones. I mean, yeah, oh, okay, like I got gotcha. you. But uh, they looked horrifying. Oh, they looked, yeah. I was like, woo, this is a horror movie now. Yeah. Like, they are uh-huh. scary. They're just like chopped up and mutilated on tables and like it was a really weird scene. Yeah. I don't even think it's weird like, ooh, that's creepy. I was just like, this is fucking weird. Yeah. Um, did you do you understand the flashbacks? Um like why they're happening. The <laughs> like when he touches the artifact, why does he get these flashbacks? No, I'm assuming it's probably eventually gonna connect with her in some way and then their flashbacks are gonna be one. But yeah, I don't know why they get the flashbacks. It's so... I, I just don't understand it. I get yeah. it's for, like, the plot, I guess, but anybody else is... Anybody else who touches it, nothing happens. Yeah. So I get that they're, like, blessed ones. Like, they're important. But I don't understand why they have yeah. the same DNA. Um, No, I'm with you. The next thing I had was that we see the chief with the blessed one. Yeah, on the, uh, is it the Halo planet? Like, we yeah. see the Halo ring. Yeah, you don't, at this point, you just see those two. And then, I think cuts back to Halsey, one of the scientists, and she sees that their heartbeat is at the same. Oh, yeah, it was Halsey. Yeah. They're looking at their heartbeats, they're the exact same. Yeah, which I think, again, implying that they're related or something. Something um, weird is implied. But then, it pans out, and yeah, they're on Halo. I don't know if it's like a vision of the future or what this was supposed to be. And then John touches her very sensually on the lips. And I was like, wait. So are these people related? What's happening here? Yeah, and they like walk up to each other slowly, and then uh-huh. he like touches her face. And otherwise, the scene visually looked awesome. Mm-hmm. And the little like kind of the halo theme was playing yeah. in the background and you see the ring and thought that was cool but then he just touches her on the face and I'm like oh this is creepy yeah it's weird now mm-hmm. it just got really weird um because why is he touching her on the face I know I'm he, with you he, he, I mean I get it it's the blessed one but come on man yeah hold yourself together uh, just said you couldn't trust her now you're touching her face so then he appears to come back to reality, it seems. And then the episode ends. Yeah. Uh, there was just one thing I had. Oh, go for it. Miranda is just like, thought we lost you, Chief. Where did you go? And then it ends. Yeah. The famous Paramount Plus ad pops up. And we're all sitting there like, oh, yeah, maybe there'll be an end credit scene this time. Then the credits roll. Yeah, I wouldn't be shocked if it doesn't happen at all. It's just, I feel like I wouldn't be surprised to do it one time. And I feel like the later it gets, the more likely it's going to be, especially the last episode. I think it's where it'll be the most likely. Yeah, but, I would say last episode, but they just, they're really teasing it. Yeah. With these ads. It's like, well, I got to sit here. You just never know. If mm-hmm. I don't, if you don't sit there, then that's when the end credit scene pops up. Yeah. And then you miss it, and then just all chilling. You see that end credit scene, bro? Like, what? Like then you got to go back and probably watch the ad again, and mm-hmm. just a whole whole problem. So Paramount Plus, get rid of the ads before the credits. Yeah, just a just a call out. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I go first this time. Um, I was not crazy about this episode. I didn't hate it either, though. I just felt like there was a lot of pointless parts, which is disappointing after such a high of last week. Um, I think I think it's fucking crazy. I think last episode, it had its moments of not doing the helmet, not doing the suit, but overall, I, was, I said, if every episode is like that, but okay, whatever. It's okay. Yeah. You're overdoing a little, but you're, ass- you're also showing a good amount of it, so it's fair. This episode, he was in his suit without helmet before the intro and then after the intro he was in his Mass Effect suit the rest of the episode right you never saw him as the Master Chief once unless you could without the helmet at the beginning yeah nope it's just emotional John the whole episode <laughs> yeah um a lot of confusion weirdness um 
I don't know what's happening on Halo. I don't know if that is a vision of the future, if that's him worrying, because it seems like they're implying that they're related, but then it seems like they're implying that he's in love with her. Yeah. Um, a lot of weirdness, unless it's Star Wars Day, maybe it can be a Luke and Leia, you know? Oh, gosh. Maybe bring it full circle. Yeah. Um, yeah, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> but I still thought there was interesting points, and... Overall, I'd say five Haas. I think it's okay. Um, I was thinking about giving it last, but the more I thought about it, the more I watched it, I was like, I didn't hate watching it. So unless something is really bad to me, I'd, it'd be hard to give it under a five because I think five, okay, man, whatever. Um, the part that I thought was super surprising, like I said, I try and stay away from other people's opinions until I do the episode, obviously aside from all of us watching it, but like reviews and I listen to weekly podcasts as well about this, yeah. which is ironic, but I usually <laughs> wait until I've already done my episode, so I'm not tainted by that. Yeah. And I don't know if you've seen, but the most reviews say this is the best episode yet. Yeah. And I was like, huh, that is different than what I had in mind. Because I fully disagreed. A lot of people liked it. I was yeah. like, huh. And obviously I watched it before and then I saw reviews and stuff, but yeah. we're right. We're right on the same. Uh, oh, yeah. Five Haws is what I gave it. Okay. But. I agree with pretty much everything you said. There's a lot of confusion with the episode. I felt like it was all over the place. Um, the good thing is there was no madrigal the whole episode. Yeah. Um, but we did see Quan Ha, unfortunately. But it wasn't the worst scene she's had. Yeah. So I can live with it. It's just Chief thinking about her for some reason, which you would think he would never think about her. Like he's kind of... Mm-hmm. Drop her off. He don't. He don't care. Why is he thinking about her? <laughs> so yeah. yeah, there's just the episode was like it wasn't paced bad because I didn't feel like it was long. Yeah, this was uh, the second shortest episode yet. Yeah, it was 48 minutes, and when you add the credits, it's like 46 minutes or something like that. Yeah, but it was one of the shortest episodes. But it's a lot of packed in of just a lot of pointlessness packed mm-hmm. in. Just a lot of weird dialogue and stuff that is like, okay, like that's fine. It felt like a filler episode. Mm. I usually don't like saying filler episodes. Like I don't like using that term, but that's exactly no, I could see that. how I felt because there were some things that were okay, but how did this move the overall story? Mm-hmm. You have nine episodes a season. Yeah, we got a few weeks left. Like, we got three episodes left. How did this move? I, I get the... We saw the Halo planet. So, we got to see that. So, maybe that helps move things along a little bit. But, overall, we just get weird, blessed one, Master Chief interactions. Really not sure what they're doing with that. And then, Chief trying to murder Halsey. For the second week in a row. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. It, it was a... Uh, Okay episode. Like, very okay. It's probably yeah. the... I think it's the worst episode in the series, though, so far. That's what I was... Why I was debating less than five, but the more I thought about it, I was like... I feel like this was on par with that... I think it was episode three, the crazy episode with... Uh, that they reference in this with the flashback to... The blessing one. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, you know... Um, that part... That episode had... Maybe more parts that were cool, but overall, I think it had a lot more cringy parts and parts that I was just like, "What are you fucking doing?" So I feel like yeah, and I did. And episode two also wasn't the greatest episode, and I think we can go back and look at our haws, but I think we gave those higher haws. I think we gave like six haws for those. I know I gave a five for the episode three. I'm not sure. I think I gave six for okay. episode three. Yeah, and that's why I didn't want to put this lower than. Five, because I was like, yeah, I don't think this is any worse in episode three for sure. Yeah, for it's me. it's definitely not the worst episode I've seen, like as a show, yeah, just a show in general. But it could have been better, and especially oh, yeah. like I talked about this the last episode, how the action is just so like shoved down your throat, and there's just none. Mm-hmm. This episode had no action at all. Yeah, I don't know where there's ten million episodes going unless it was. They put like thirty million into one episode, and then the other episodes had like a million. No, all right, let's see. Yeah, I'm like, all right, fire. Where is your budget going? Mm-hmm. Is it actually ten million per episode? Because there's just the action is very like. There's two action scenes in the whole show. Yeah, this is Halo. 
Mm-hmm. Like, I don't want action, like, the whole time. Obviously, no, no, the I'm story in Halo is very important, but this is all story. Aren't they at war with the Covenant? I don't know. You gotta be like, honest. Like, I really don't, I don't know. Like, what are the Covenant even doing? Are they just all chilling with the Prophets, having lemonade, and just hanging out? Like, like oh, we'll just wait for the Blessed One to do her thing. Yeah. Like, what? What? It's so confusing to me. I hope that Episode 7 redeems itself. I'm with you. I'm mean, still excited to watch it, which I, more I can say about most shows, even shows I like now. I'm just like, oh, yeah, I got to watch this one again. Yeah, no. It's I, like a job for me. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm really, I've been excited the yeah. whole time. It was just this episode was one that I was let down. No, no, I hear you. I'm, I'm bored with you. Just because the last one with the action was good and I was excited. I was like, oh, this could lead into more action. Because I was thinking, oh, now they got to go get this artifact back from the Covenant. We didn't even see that. Mm-hmm. You got 46 minutes of Master Chief having temper tantrums and getting mad at Halsey and hanging out with the Blessed One. Yeah. Like, wh- is there no urgency to go find this thing? I-, I just don't get it. Like, I get you found the Blessed One and she might be important, but wouldn't the longer the Covenant have that artifact, closer they are to getting the weapon? Yeah. I mean, I know you have the other one, but okay. I'm with you. It's just really weird. Yeah. There's just... Chief is focused on the wrong things right now. Yeah. So hopefully that changes in the next episode. I'm with you. Let, me, let us know how many ha's you guys give it. Yeah, maybe you thought it was the best episode in the series. Yeah, we seem to be a minor, minority on that, so I'm curious how you guys feel. Um, a couple things I want to talk about before we get out of here. Did you see how many subscribers Paramount Plus is up to? No, I didn't. They're up to 40 million and they gained 6.8 million since the start of 2022, which I would have guessed I was all, well, not all Halo, but by far more Halo than anything. I guess one of those new Star Trek shows came out at around the same time. Yeah, I would say it's Star Trek and Halo. Yeah, I would say I think it's definitely a combo of those. Yeah. And, uh, but what makes that so impressive? Well, it's a good sign for Halo. They already renewed it for season two, but the fact that it grew so much right when Halo came out is a good sign for the series. But more crazy, they have 40 million right now. Do you know how many Hulu has? No. I don't. As long as this is accurate, I couldn't believe it was, but I saw it on five different websites. They have 43.8 million. So wow. Paramount Plus is less than 4 million away from overtaking Hulu, if that's accurate. That is crazy. Yeah, I would have thought. If I saw Paramount Plus was forty million, I would guess Hulu was like a hundred million or something. Yeah, if that, yeah. I mean, at least that. So that was shocking to me. And there's there's good stuff on Paramount Plus, but yeah. I feel like that's a good sign for Halo because you might get people just scrolling through and just oh sci-fi show, let me watch this. You don't oh, even, know for sure. Don't I, even, and I know a lot of people that at least you know scrolling on social media and seeing things about Halo. A lot of people that have never played the games actually really like the show. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like there's some weirdness and awkwardness I think anybody would notice, but I think a lot of the hang-ups are stuff that people notice that play the game. So I think if you didn't, it might actually be better. Yeah. There definitely you would still notice some of the cringe and the awkwardness, but I don't think it would be as glaring. Um, I was just shocked by that, though. I would have like I I thought it was like more than double Paramount Plus. And because um, just feel like, Hulu, Netflix, Disney. I feel like you just hear everybody talk about those. Like, oh, yeah, I have that. Every time I talk about Paramount, aside from the people can never watch parties, people are like, I don't have Paramount, or what's Paramount? Yeah. So the fact that it's $4 million less than Hulu, I'm like, that's wild, because almost nobody will say, what's Hulu, or I don't have Hulu. Yeah, everybody. Yeah. You know, most people have Hulu. That's crazy. I mean, I didn't have Paramount Plus before Halo. No, I didn't either. So, so one of those. We're, we're part of the people that... Uh, joined and I don't I mean I probably will cancel it when Halo's done <laughs> that's what um, well I would have done it but then T-Mobile would give me a year for free and then also South Park's gonna be on there and I love South Park so it might be harder for me to get rid of it I got but yeah you. that was my original plan cause I was yeah South Park is on HBO Max also yeah so that's where I watch South Park I got maybe you. we can do some South Park content <laughs> <laughs> um, the other thing they haven't announced anything to it yet, but Halo Infinite announced that they would have crossover with the show, not like a whole campaign or anything, but content. So like you get certain helmets or skins that would line up with the show. And I thought that was really cool. That's and said, cool. 
vice versa. But I feel like that would make I would kind of assume that some of that would end up in the show. So I thought that was obvious, but I didn't actually think about the show coming back to the game like that. Yeah, no, that's so awesome. Cool. That'll that'll help different yeah. things. But yeah, I think the show is getting you know decent reviews from what I've seen. Some people actually absolutely hate it, but you know you're gonna have those. Oh yeah, there's people that absolutely hate you know Mandalorian. I'm sure I've yeah. never met one, but there's people that hate happiness. So there's always people hate everything. Yeah, just like nitpicking every little thing and can't yeah. be happy with the show. And, like, even though I gave this episode five haws, I didn't. I'm not, like, hating it. No, yeah. giving an honest review. No, I hear you. But, you know, that's what reviews are for. That's why we're here. Anything else for get out of here? I think that's it for uh, this week. Yep, we'll uh, be back sooner than later because we're watching episode seven tomorrow. Yeah, so we'll be back with episode seven. Let's do it. See See you later. later.